To balance this reaction, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have calcium 1, oxygen 1, but be careful, you have another oxygen here. So 1 plus 1, we have two total oxygens. Then we have hydrogens, two of those. Over on the product side, we have one calcium. And then the two here, because this OH, this hydroxide group, is in parentheses, the two applies to the whole OH. So we have two times one, that gives us two oxygens two times the one hydrogen, that gives us two hydrogens. So in the reaction, we have calcium oxide plus water, giving us this calcium hydroxide. It's a very exothermic reaction, gives a lot of heat off, so it's kind of interesting in that, in that sense. When we look at our coefficients here, we see that everything's the same. So this equation's actually balanced. And the reason people have problems with this, there's two reasons. One is they count this oxygen, and then they forget about this one. Then the other problem is they don't realize that the two here applies to all of the atoms here in the parentheses, and that messes them up as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaO plus H2O yields CaOH2. And thanks for watching.